When We Were Young Music Festival, a concept that some people thought was too good to be true, to the point where upon its announcement, labeling it a scam or the next fire festival. And when the 2023 dates and lineup were announced, before the first band even hit the stage, even more people believed it to be a scam. And yesterday, when the first day was canceled due to high winds, many folks believe their guess all along had been true. No way all these bands were really going to play one show and no way was it legit. Well, friends, Bricky here to let you know it's true. It did happen and this is what it was like to attend the When We Were Young Music Festival. Today, still pretty windy, like really windy. The severe winds would continue on and not helping matters as the event takes place in a huge parking lot called the Vegas Festival Grounds, where over 50,000 people would show up to see over 50 bands on five different stages and paying between 200 plus dollars to over 500 plus dollars but a small price to pay to hear the soundtrack of your youth. Ironically, I would say that more than half of the audience was too young to have ever been a part of the scene in its original days. See over there, everybody waiting a lot. And it's moving, moving pretty slow. That was great. We were literally through in maybe a minute. when I was wearing my pink Jordans that I, that I was dressed in emo. The main two stages were the black and the pink stage. This would be the home to the major headliners of the festival and the main area for the double the price VIP ticket. The black stage was more than 80% accessible to everyone, whereas the pink stage, only VIP guests could get directly in front of the stage, at least for the first 50 to 100 feet. Three HD video boards brought everyone else a great view. I was gifted VIP access, but if your budget allowed for the upgrade, I can 100% say it was a great value. I would recommend it for all future dates if possible. The VIP section has its own food, picnic area, and merch line. All three are massive time savers. And as stupid as it may sound, the AstroTurf helps fight standing fatigue. Trust me, you'll be so happy it's there, standing, or being able to sit on it. You have a wristband that scans your access. We are now going backstage, which is not included in the VIP pass. This is the talent, friends, and family level gifted and earned not for sale due to the privacy of the talent i will only be showing you select parts of our backstage adventures here you can see golf carts taking band members and workers alike to all four of the main stages while avoiding the crowds i have to say this event is perfectly i mean perfectly laid out superior job on putting together the layout of how a music festival should flow for the audience, for the staff, like just phenomenal, phenomenal job as somebody who's 
done a couple of these rodeos before. Access to some of the cleaner and more private facilities. And friends, these aren't even the nice bathrooms. And an amazing shortcut to walk the outer perimeter to say hi to a friend on the other side. The artist merchandise line, however, what a disaster. I cannot even imagine how many hours it would take to get through this line. And I feel bad for anyone who missed their favorite band just to buy their shirt. The Stripe and Checkered stages offered only general admission access. The People stages. Your basic warp Tour size stage without video boards, but a much smaller audience footprint. It's funny anyone doubted this festival. It was co-promoted with Live Nation, far from a fired fest. But the internet's gonna internet. How many laps do you think I can do on this? We found the tram. I think Mark spent 45. Uh, rumor has it there's a bass player from Ohio that's about 52, though. Oh, he's done. So we're hoping his set comes up quick. So yeah. Can beat him. I'm buzzing, guys. I'm gonna set a new record. We worked so hard to get to the festival that got canceled just to try to get away from the festival. Come on, I want to show you one of the greatest perks. When we were young, hello. So young, so young that I need to. In all seriousness, it is so nice at these events to have a spot just to get away charge your batteries, get away from all the noise, the people. I know that makes me sound incredibly old, but I have been doing this stuff for a really long time and I always enjoy a quick little getaway. That is insane. So that's a back path for people to go from stage to stage. And as you can see, it is just jam jammed with people. One bad thing about this nearly perfect setup is the bands face the west, and that means the sunset straight in their eyes. AFI, for sure, hands down, one of my favorite bands that's playing today. And uh, such a great time to see them play during Magic Hour. I know it was horrible for them with the sun right in their eyes, but man, did the stage look good. They sound great. They also look like they're in great shape. And uh, Davey, 
looks like a villain from a Batman movie. And I mean that with the highest compliment. Like the guy for real looks like a real world villain and that's such a great look. So I'm working my way over to the other stage. I think that's pink, this one's black. To see one of my other favorite bands is playing. This band I really, really enjoy. It was kind of around these guys on the way up back in the day. So it's uh, always good to see them play again. Even though it was windy and a little bit chilly, all in all, it ended up being a nearly perfect day. Wait a minute. Three rabbits wearing Blink-182 t-shirts? Three. Could it be next year's headliner here to make a special performance? This set list has been nothing but bangers, one after the other. Amazing. And as night goes on, you see the backstage area just get busier and busier as bands have to get loaded out. Because with this many bands, you simply can't wait till the end of the night to do them all at once. Yeah, we're uh, on a golf cart. <laughs> 
So I made the executive decision after Jimmy Eat World that nothing could top that. I picked my own headliners. I picked for me where the festival ends. And it was a great time. Thank you so much to my friends for making this possible. And uh, definitely we'll be coming back if this happens again next year. And keeping in the spirit of when we were young, I'm leaving early because I'm not young anymore. But it was nice to reminisce, see some of the old friends, hear some of the old songs. But that time, my time has passed. And now, the time is my bedtime. <laughs>